Hello everybody, welcome back to another One Piece Burning Blood video. My name is Civic Koji, or Civic Kiji, and this is the Zone Game and Go. Today we're going to be talking about stall-based teams as part of the, I guess you want to say, team comp video series i don't really know what i'm calling it actually but uh yeah so stall pace teams self-explanatory are teams that are basically supposed to stall out your opponent and kill them slowly now i say self-explanatory but it's a little bit more complicated than that because when you're making a stall based team or even going up against a stall based team it's it's tricky so we're going to talk a little bit about uh stall based teams and kind of what kind of makes them and then we're going to get into um how to play against them and what is what you can do to actually counteract it now please understand that that these are suggestions and tips but these are not guaranteed which means that just because it worked once doesn't mean it's going to work every single time i gotta say that i gotta keep doing that gotta say it every video or try to at least if i forget my bad so for this example i decided to go ahead and introduce my stall based team i'm one of the uh stall based team players in the zone game and go i'm not one, I'm not in few there's not as many as, as rushdown teams in the zone game and go but um you know I'm one of the primary ones because you probably see me the most at everybody. There's also Kuski, there's also Zoro Zero, Fortune has a couple. Uh, we're not going to explain Fortune's teams actually uh, in this video, but we are going to look at Kuskis, we are going to look at Zoro Zeros. Um, I know there's also Jared, sort of, kind of. It's, it's kind of wishy-washy with him. But um, yeah, so primarily, what makes a stall based team? The stall lead, the anti-close, and the counteractor. These are all made up terms because I just made them up for this video. <laughs> so I'm just playing. They always existed. So what each one of these teams was one of these parts actually mean, I would explain to you in detail now. So what a uh, lead or staller lead is the character that is going to be the person providing the most amount of space between you and your opponent. This character in particular is going to be the person that's going to continuously do all that chip damage, is going to do all that pressuring, but he is not able to, or that's, let me scratch that. You don't want him to get hit the most. You don't want him to be the first character dead. You want him to be alive because you want him to do his job. Examples of these characters could be are not, are Gecko, um, Perona, Enel, as well as Kid. Even though, despite you know him not having range moves early on, um, when he gets level two arm, he becomes devastating force, dealing the most amount of chip damage of any character in this game. Uh, Akiji is also an excellent um, uh, staller as well because he deals a obscene amount of poison damage because of his uh, poison ice attacks and because he just continuous pressure with the dagger and stuff like that. Only real characters that can really stand against the pressure of getting poisoned continuously would be Conqueror's hockey-based characters. Now, you will also think Conqueror's <laughs> hockey-based characters will be counteractive against your star leads because that primarily rely on ranged-based attacks. That is not exactly true because characters like Frankie and Gecko are immune to some of that staller based lead uh, power or anti staller based lead. This is where these other characters coming in. You got the counteractor, or in this case, the guard, or you want to call it that, either way. So the counteractor is the person that's basically going to push people away from you. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be a character with a counter. This can be a character um, that just has really good knockback, like uh, Kaziru. Kaziru does really good knockback for his unity chain. So when Kaziru might not be a um, staller lead or perhaps be like a chip damage person in terms of his range moves, but his unity chain does allow him to knock people far away. Now, he has not been utilized, so I can't really give you a team example, but I can tell you that's kind of one of his primary functions is to back you away uh, and actually uh, handle it in range combat. So I use Aka Inu as my anti-close. So anti-close and staller lead are probably gonna be the only two terms you're really gonna to have to remember when making a stall based team. Counteractor is literally just something I made up for the middle character that didn't even need to matter. But um, anti-close is a character that basically when a person gets close to you, is supposed to be able to fend them off or fight up close. So um, if you want to not play with an anti-close, you could simply just play with all range-based characters or play with characters that basically excel in stalling. But if you don't want to have that problem, but we're getting constantly rushed down by certain characters like Garp, Marco, Jozo, perhaps even Luffy 1500, Fujitoro, Buggy, Mihawk, <laughs> Chopper, <laughs> Gear for Luffy, then you need an anti-close. You need a character that is able to fight those people off and knock them back. Because Zero works as a good anti-close character. Aka Inu is a good anti-close character. Even Brook is a good anti-close character. Jimbei is a good anti-close character because of Shirkskin, and so is Koala. 
Although those characters can be played rushdown teams, they can also be used for stall-based teams as your anti-close. Uh, whenever you make a stall-based team, always figure out what your anti-close is going to be. In my case here, I told you it's Aki Inu because of his aerial kick and able to actually fend off one hockey move. So usually I use him as a counteract to the Garp. That's why usually when I fight against Garps or fight against Marcos or any rushdown-based teams, I pretty much have a moderate to easy time going up against them. I'm not saying it's easy, easy. I'm just saying that in terms of like hardships there's less of them um, simply because how I'm playing now um, there is another staller based team that I want to reference and I'm going to mosey on into it trying to figure out who it actually is this is not I don't think it's going to be in the correct order of which it actually is supposed to be but I will try my best so Kuski sometimes runs uh, Sanji Buggy and Boa Hancock. So Boa Hancock actually could work as your um, anti-close as well as your staller lead because of her range capabilities as well as her setup capabilities in dealing tons of damage. Stallers or stall based teams generally don't do a lot of damage uh, but they do it over time and due to the petrification she creates kind of like a objective. Now for stall based teams getting objectives are pretty easy because you're living. You're keeping your um, your space away from your opponent and you're, you're doing a good job with spacing. Basically the same thing, I said it twice, my bad. But you're just doing a good job overall at prolonging the battle. Like, your opponent might be getting frustrated, but you're just good. You're all fine and dandy. And that's where uh, Bullet Hancock's Petrification comes in. Because the more times she hits you, the more those counters go up. And eventually, in the end game, that's when you want everything to finally start paying off. So Buggy works as a good anti-close as well for this team, and so does Sanji. So basically, Kuski has three different possible anti-closes, with Buggy being the primary as well as being a rushdown. So Kuski can actually switch from playing stall to be going to rushdown teams just by you know simply um, losing a character or just changing the way he plays as in terms of this team. So which is pretty excellent how this actually comes out. But primarily speaking, um, I see him mainly going for stall base rather than a rushdown base, so it's kind of back and forth. Your team that you create doesn't necessarily have to be one way. It can be two or three, but whatever you want is whatever you want. Okay, Sanji is working as an anti-close because of his counter. Uh, his, I forgot what it's called. I can't pronounce, I, I don't remember Sanji's moves that well, but it's his special guard because it has it has armor onto it, allows him to counteract rushdowns very well. Anti-closes need to be able to deal with rushdown. That is, that, I cannot stress that enough because if you get rushed down as a stall based team and start losing focus, losing characters, losing your stall or lead, it becomes a whole different game. You are no longer being a stall. You're now playing a balance or you're more, you're more so playing a rush down against a rush down at that point um, because of what's going on. But that's just one thing. So, so generally, uh, Kuski plays this way, but Zoro Zero also plays this way. But instead of Sanji, he runs Kuma. Um, I do not believe it's in this order. I believe Buggy is actually first, but I think he goes either way. No, it is Kuma. It is Kuma, Buggy, and Bowie Hancock. So that's Zoro Zero's team right there. Uh, it plays those three characters. Now, let's actually go to the support here because um, this is wonky. So when I play uh, my uh, stall based teams, I use Kobe, Nahiko, and Go Roger. Now, this is generally because that Gekka Mariah does more damage when he actually snaps your shadow off and slowly poisons you. Uh, Nahiko gives that pl uh, 10 seconds of extra uh, burning gauge or awakening, allowing you to get 40 seconds of poison, meaning you are dead at that point it, uh, because of her ability. So, Gekko is probably one of the most excellent stall in terms of stall to death characters, um, kind of like Akiji, how Akiji does poison damage. Caesar Clown works really well that way as well. So when playing stall teams, they don't generally go for power, so it's more so a getting burn engage or perhaps maybe healing, but healing is very versatile, so it might not be healing, it might not be Sento, it might be defense, you know, if they plan on going the more defensive route. Um, Go Roger is also very predictable for stall based teams because generally speaking they're not going to really be doing uni chains all that much So if they get a uni assist to get a uni assist, they're going to go for it So I can see uh, Beepo being primarily for stall based teams uh, or not really being a thing um, Before we talked about rushdown characters doing primarily power This is going to be completely opposite of that They're basically the opposite of rushdowns in most cases now you do see some players do going for some buffs um, in case in those scenarios uh, But you generally don't see it done um, as much 
So one of the excellent supports for uh, stall based teams is Lafetti, simply because if you're not going for that power and you do run Lafetti, you do have an excellent option there. So sometimes I don't run Gold Roger, I do run Lafetti on this team, simply because it what works that way as well. Because Gecko Mariah's Brick Bats have that much less to attack you with, or not. They need that much less hits in order for me to win the game. So it works really well in that case scenario. Now, you can go for plus one with Johnny Yosaka on stall based teams to deal more chip damage, and that's also good. Um, I know that Fortune uses Kid with plus two org, allowing him to actually chip, dam chip damage his opponent really well to obscene amounts, which is just, oh my goodness. But another support that's also very helpful against anti rushes in case you're anti. Uh, your anti-close is defeated is the Hannah support because she's able to block uh, basic attacks as well as Monkey D Garp because he makes your opponent back off for 10 seconds and allow you time to breathe. Vista support also does a really good job as well, allowing you to actually prevent knockback and stun effects, meaning that you can get away much easier. Dothamingo works really well with the support. You can also work with uh, characters like Hammy, allowing you to get that plus four. If you don't want to go for, um, you know, solid defense, you want to go to if defense, then Cammy will also be excellent support for you to use in that case scenario. And also, if you want to get away from your opponent and run Bartho, then you can go with Leo. And Leo actually has the ability to go away from your, your opponent, but allow you the chance to set up your objective or perhaps just kind of keep your range game going. So those are just some suggestions that I have for you in terms of support oriented. Uh, some players use them, some players don't. They're very varied in terms of uh, what support or what used by different players, as well as team compositions and everything. Another example of a team comp I want to go ahead and show you is the uh, smoke team. The smoke team that I actually use sometimes every now and again is Usopp, Smoker, and Kuma. This is a very low cost team that generally works around, um, how do I say, trap. This is basically a trap team. So Usopp works very well as an anti-close because of his traps and stuff to get kind of cocky characters. Smoker also as well because of his Judah canceling out rushdowns and also able him to do his heavy guard brick, which he can set up Kuma for urge like the ghost. So that's my objective. So stall based teams usually have objectives. Like rush based teams, objective is to kind of rush you down, fight you, kill you, do as much damage and you're dead. While stall based teams just take it slow. There's no need to do all that damage. There's no need to hit you with a 100% with combo right off the bat. Because I know that slowly but surely, your life will drop. Okay. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, enjoy your day and continue playing One Piece Burning Blood.